The American Revolutionary War saw ordinary working people rise up against the might of the British Empire for freedom from its rule of the 13 colonies. Great Britain was the world's most powerful country. Many thought a war with them couldn't be won. So how did one man, a printing press, and a uniquely named pamphlet turn the tide of the American Revolution? In the 1770s, many colonists were unhappy with British rule, believing it unfair that they should have to pay taxes to the British king without having any say in how the colonies were run. In 1775, the Revolutionary War began. But while some colonists were happy to fight for their freedom, others were fearful of what independence would bring. Arguments between the two groups raged over what kind of government would work best for an independent country. But Thomas Paine, an English-born colonist and fierce patriot, believed he had the answer. In 1776, almost a year into the Revolutionary War, he published a pamphlet called Common Sense. In it, Paine laid out his vision for the United States as a democratic republic, which wouldn't be ruled over by a greedy king, but instead managed by a strong central government that would unite the colonies, and a written constitution that would protect people's rights. To him, it was just logical. Thanks to the power of the printing press, 120,000 copies of Common Sense were put into circulation. By making the case for independence, using plain language that people could understand, it became a huge hit with colonists and convinced many to revolt against the British crown. It would take a further seven years for the colonists to be free, but common sense gave them a reason to hang in and fight. And with American independence secured, the framers of the Constitution, inspired by ideas from the pamphlet, created a new form of government. That's why Common Sense remains one of the most important documents in U.S. history. Can you think of something you've read that changed your mind?